Good morning everyone, Janie here. Welcome back to my garden. So we are at the tail end of the hottest week of the year. <laughs> we have been inside with the blinds down, with the air conditioner on all week, and I am getting so antsy to get outside. So, you know, it's still supposed to be hot today, but it's supposed to cool down relatively <laughs> relatively cool down from now on so I just I just want to get out here and I just want to start planting things and I want to start checking things off of my to-do list so if you all watched a video from I think it was last week I talked about how I was invited to be a part of a, a garden tour in my town it's called the Pence Gallery Garden Tour it is scheduled for next May May 2023 and when they invited me they came over to my house and they talked about a couple things that I should kind of work on because there, there's going to be so many people coming through my home. Uh, not my home, my garden, I should say. My home is off limits. Um, but there's gonna be about 600 people. That's that's the historical average of people coming. And uh, I have a small yard. I do not have a big, like, grand entrance or anything like that. People are gonna have to enter my backyard through my narrow side yard, right by my garbage cans. <laughs> so I have to make it kind of, a little bit nicer you know what I mean like you know I don't have to I want to I should say I'm really excited about it and it's something that I've been thinking about this is going to be the entrance this area over here and then on the other side of my house is going to be the exit and so basically everybody's going to go into a circle so I have been sitting here and I've been thinking about what I can do to make this entrance and exit a little bit more beautiful and a little bit more accessible um, I'm of course going to move the garbage cans into the garage for the day of the garden tour but I wanted to do a little something else especially because I think you could see it right there I have my beautiful air conditioner. I mean, that is what you want to see right when you enter someone's backyard on a garden tour. So I'm going to be working with that, trying to cover it. But today I want to install uh, the Kinsman Lattice Arch. I have another one that I have my Eden Climbing Roses on and I want to put one right here. Let me show you the arch in my front yard. All right, here is the arch in my front yard. It's almost covered by the roses. The Eden climbers are going crazy. I have to say, I think they're liking the heat. I don't think the blooms are loving it. I have to deadhead these. Um, and I haven't been fertilizing it because I don't want them to put on new growth right now. I feel like it's just too hot. But after this uh, heat wave is over, I will start fertilizing them again, and I'm excited to do that. So the lattice arch is kind of a diamond pattern. And I really like this. I think it's so beautiful because I think it mimics the espalier, the diamond espalier I have all over, um, all over my garden. Like you can see my ivy espalier there. And then I have my honeysuckle espalier in my narrow side yard. And it's kind of like a theme that I've been doing, not on purpose, just because I love it so much. So I really like this lattice arch. I think that it's the perfect arch for my home. I got it from Kinsman Garden Supply um, and I will link it down below. Uh, so there, you know like a family homegrown company um and i'm just i'm just really happy with them anytime i emailed them like this was back ordered this this particular one was back ordered and i was emailing them and they were responding really quickly so um i really do like the company so if you guys are interested in checking them out uh, i think that they're a really good company so i enjoyed this arch so much i actually bought another one i have it in my backyard right now and in, in the box still and i'm gonna put it together today and put it in my narrow side yard so here's the box right here. I'm gonna work on putting it together today. Again, I'm racing against the heat, which is kind of the story of my life these days, <laughs> but uh, it's cool right now. It's okay, but I can feel it's gonna be another hot day. I think that just things aren't cooling down at night like they normally do. Um, so even when I wake up in the morning and early and it's usually crisp and cool, it doesn't feel that way. So luckily I've put this arch together before. I know how to do it. I know that it's super easy, so I feel like it should, it should go pretty quickly, so let's get going.
done. So that took me 20 minutes to put together all by myself. So honestly, this is the, I feel like it's the easiest arch to put together. It's wonderful. And I feel like it's really, really sturdy. Um, so yeah. And I think it's so beautiful. I love it. So now I got to get it over here to my side yard. Um, I'm going to put it kind of at an angle because you guys can see that this walkway is kind of at an angle. I'm going to move all this stuff. Probably not today because I'm just going to put the arch right there. And then I bought this extra honeysuckle plant, a trellised honeysuckle, um, to uh, train over the arch. Because as you guys can see, I love my honeysuckle. And yes, I still have more painting to do. Again, I just, it's just too hot, you guys. It's too hot to paint. Um, so I will get to that, but over here, it's looking really good. Uh, this is the area that I've painted behind the espalier. This is the hardest area to paint because I have to kind of lift up the branches and the wire and get behind it with a paintbrush. So it just takes a really, really long time. So I will get to that, but I wanna get this arch up. I wanna see what it looks like. So arch is up, hole is dug 100% thanks to my new auger, and it's not even the right size auger, it's just like a little bulb three inch auger, but oh my goodness, there is no way I could have dug through that hard pan soil without something like that. I did not realize that the previous owners, I don't even know who did it, but this is plastic. This is not even landscape fabric, it's pure plastic. Um, and there used to be landscape rocks over here. So this whole, uh, this whole area I think is like packed down, compacted like crazy. So it was really hard to get through even with the auger, but I'm glad I had it because it made all the difference. Um, and now the soil is a lot looser and it looks good, and I think the honeysuckle is gonna be happy there. Jason helped me bring the arch around the corner and helped me set it. You guys saw that in his little curtsy. <laughs> I can't believe he did that. I asked him to do it, and he knew we were filming, and I told him I'm definitely putting that in the, <laughs> in the show. Um, so uh, so he made a good point. We are not done with the, paint, the fence painting over here on this side, and so if we sink in the anchors to the, the arch now, we'll have an even harder job getting behind it and painting right behind this this area right here so we're just going to place it I will plant the honeysuckle just to get it in the ground and get it done um, but then I got to come through and I got to finish painting at least this spot right here and then we can secure the arch in place um, so yeah so I got to get on the painting it's just we've got so much done we've got like 90% done and now I just have to finish the rest and I'm tired of painting it's a big job so all right so let me get this honeysuckle in. I do have my EB Stone Sure Start uh, for fertilizer, and I think the honeysuckle will be very, very happy right here. So there it is, the arch is up, the honeysuckle is planted. So I am gonna train this honeysuckle to come up here. And then I'm also gonna train these tendrils to kind of go up here. T later tonight, once it cools down, I'm gonna come out here and I'm at least gonna paint this panel um, just to get it done so that we can actually secure the arch down. I'm not, you know, I'm not too worried about it. This is a really protected area in my yard, um, but I do wanna get it secured and I kinda wanna, you know, put a check next to this to do. Um, so 
yeah, so I think it looks really good. This is what it looks like coming in. Yes, I need to do something to cover that air conditioner unit. I've been looking up like DIY projects to make my own little uh, like enclosure for it. But I was also reading that you don't want to enclose it too much because you want it to be able to still suck in the air. And our AC is probably the most important thing to us these days. <laughs> so um, I think I'll probably wait till fall and then start thinking about that. Um, but I will be addressing that. So yeah, so you can see what it looks like and you can imagine the whole thing covered with honeysuckle. I think it'll be beautiful. And at the time of the garden tour, the honeysuckle should should be blooming. So I think it's going to be gorgeous if this works out like I think it's going to. So yeah, so I think it's really beautiful. Let me show you guys from this way my beautiful garbage cans, <laughs> but that's okay. I mean, we all have garbage cans. It is what it is. So yeah, so I'm really happy with this. I think that this is a good lesson that even though you have like these small areas that have garbage cans and have AC units, you can still make them look pretty. You can still add some stuff to it that's really not that expensive that will really make it uh, like a statement, like a standout. And my goal for this home, even though it's still it's so small. I want every single piece of it to be done and beautiful and um, landscaped. And I just want to use every square inch that I possibly can. And I think that that's going to take me a couple years to get to that point, but I'm going to have fun trying. Do you guys hear my neighbor's chickens? <laughs> so funny. All right. So that is it for today's video. <laughs> I hope you all enjoyed it, and I hope you all have a chance to get in your garden today. <laughs>